Good morning. It's the first day of summer. It's the first day of June. It's the Champions League final. A lot of us in Madrid. It's 06.41 hours British summer time. And we are actually in summer. And I'm going back to Cardiff via Philly for a haircut to blog the second part of Not Quite a Pub Crawl. I have a feeling there might be a ta part three as well, but you don't know. And Christmas tree in the summer. This is Bedwas. Post Costa, uh, bacon roll and cappuccino. Post haircut, just men. Adrian's getting married next week. Post Philly Railway Station, post Queen Street Railway Station. This has been a while. The Ernest Willows City Road, Cardiff. Okay, um, there is a reason why I don't come here as often, and it's the beers. Not that they're off or anything, it's just the selection, they're all mainstream. Uh, this is probably the best of the bunch at the moment. Uh, Exmoor Gold, Exmoor Brewery, 4.5% alcohol by volume. Nicely presented. Mm. And we have power, which is nice. seen its best. Uh, there is a reason why Marston's are no longer doing cast scale in Scotland, well, apart from one pub. Mind you, Marston's anyway, but you need to slog a lot of it and you need really high standards and it's difficult. It's, which is a shame. Anyway, B+. Plus. I can't remember how long it was since I was here last, although I do remember it was a Saturday and I ended up having a curry. And the toilet, the toilet is in the sky. I'm like Eunice Willows, which is on, on the ground floor. Didn't say that, so that's a plus point. Anyway, under the tree, nice cool breeze, very nice. Okay, so I'm going to Pan and Road, and this has happened before. Despite their Facebook page saying they are open at 10, it's not until 11. So, quick one in the central bar. Spoons. The windows that open up the street. You don't often get asked the question. Straight up and up Anyway, this is Supreme Bitter by the Nottingham Brewery. We're going to need 5.2% alcohol by volume. Mm. Uh, 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 it's full. The central bar is always breakfast central. For the car that comes to mind. Okay, this is quite nice. Attempt number two, maybe? Let's hope. Well, Swarm tells me March 2014. So, you know. Anyway, this is Malty McMalt first from Great Western Brewing, 4.4% alcohol by volume, dry hopped amber. That's a very dark amber, I've got to be honest. Nice bit of carpet and little wood over there for Mr. Manny. Really good selection of ales here, and on keg, two from Brandy took well. Mm, it's quite fruity, a little bit malty, gentle bitter finish. Pleasant, not outstanding but really nice. Getting more fruit in the finish as well. We're going to go a little bit different here. This is 
an African blackberry, raspberry and gooseberry stout. Yeah. <laughs> Um, 5.4% um, from Cockshaw Brewing. It says, this is a full barbied, rich chocolate malt bill with a complex range of specialties. The taste is when the fruit really hits home. The juicy sweetness followed by a tart zing from the blackberries, raspberries and gooseberries. I like a tart zing, I've got to be honest. Of course, it could be all be nonsense, but you never know. Yeah, I've just stuck my nose in it completely. I've got foam on my nose. Um, and it's chocolatey and malty and bird notes. Oh, there's a bit of zing. Yeah. Definitely a bit of a zingness in there. Yeah, and the finish is sharp, fruity, a little bit acidic. B plus in a bit for the zing. Yeah, steam. I'm missing out the also box because I'm coming back for that. However, I have the steam. Okay. Keg. Flooring. Real flooring, Mr. Manning. This is a lemon goes from 2.4.3% alcohol by volume. What is this? They're created as a wine show. It smells lemony. Oh, tart, lemony as opposed to citrusy. Refreshing. Someone's just smashed a glass. What a bottle. I like that. It is very lemony. I'm going to say B plus plus because on the day like today, that's what you need. You're in Cardiff. Well, you know the rest. So I'm finishing up with the city items. Although, if you're not sure about the city items or Tiny Rebel, this is how close they are. I love those chips. Also alive and tough by Mook, I say. Also alive and tough feeds. And here we go. This is also from Nottingham. Let me see my face about this. It's called Archer. It says it's an American IPA, but at 4% alcohol by volume. Not very IPA like. However, it is pale. It is real wooden falling. It's manly. Mostly malty, but very malty. A little bit of fruitiness in the finish. Quite a lot of fruitiness in the finish. B plus. 